Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Today we are cutting out the new windows. Not with white, that's a white sticker. And don't be fooled there. We got all of these. Oh, Taj is doing the windows and grinding the outside. I'm helping dad. Are really sure what I'm doing yet? This clear cast acrylic dad is cutting to replace the old windows. different to this is the old one. All the windows are cut. Just gotta wait for the kids to get them out. Taj to clean up the frames. Got our four port lights in the back here for the aft cabin. Got our opening ones in our saloon area. And there's a few more. One in the kitchen. So just about have done every window on the boat. We got a we got a trademark in there. Big scrap. No one knows how it got there, but it got there. Look at the devastation. The sadness that this little scratch caused. Oh, brand new window, mate. Brand new window. Guys, I'm lazy at masking up. I just slapped the masking tape on and then uh, I gently, I just find it easier to um, cut the masking tape as opposed to trying to be really neat with it. I find you just get a Stanley knife and when the camera's not watching it usually works a lot better. <laughs> so I just go like that and I, there's my edge to work off. See that? Look at that. Someone knew how to mask that up. Mr. Stanley did. You also have mad skills with a knife. Not everyone can do that. Just slow and steady, nice sharp blade, wins every time. Just don't oh. get your finger in the road. Let's see if everyone can do it. Can yeah. I try? You want to try? Alright, Belle, show us. Oh, look, see how you Apparently go, Belle. everyone can do this, so right, this let's is the test. See how you do it, Belle. You need to keep it flat on the corner there. I'm just going to start in oh, the middle. Oh, start wherever you like, Belle. <laughs> no pressure, Belle. No. <laughs> You're leaving more tape on there than I put on. <laughs> you got to push the edge into the corner. I'm trying to see. One little example. You gotta hold it like that. Look, you gotta hold it slightly yeah. raised so it doesn't dig in, but it cuts it. Oh, just watch your fingers. Like I said, Lee's got mad skills with a knife. <laughs> oh, no, now the determination of Bella, she's just. Oh, oh, you're leaving a big edge on there, Belle. It'll peel the silicon up. No, I'm not. Yeah, Look. you're making a big rolled edge. Look. Beautiful job, Bell. <laughs> we take it, Matt. <laughs> I'll just uh, cut that off. Yes. Get that little bit and just run around like that. It's just the angle of I was sitting. Yeah, I think she was just in the wrong angle, guys. That little bit there. You just don't, you actually don't want it hanging over too much because otherwise, when you go to peel it up, it peels your silicon out. So. It's all good. And you could probably do without masking. I just find the more tape, the better. You just go, whoop, peel the masking tape off and the job's clean and finished. He likes things neat. Pre-cut that. Just run the Stanley around here nicely. So that will Have glue down there. we got white windows? There. White windows for now, <laughs> with a big scratch on it. We'll get it, Dad. No one know. admits to it, but there's someone done something. Yeah, I think it might have someone accidentally been you. Accidentally. I think I know who it was. Oh, now he's blaming. This is what people do when they know what actually happened. Okay, so that should just sit on there. How can no one know they did that? <laughs> I 
<laughs> no. That's a big knob. Yeah. It's not. He peeled it back. It's only that little scratch on the inside. <laughs> what? Did you do it? I didn't. Who do you guys reckon it was? Who's Bella? Does she look guilty? It was Lee. I always look guilty. It wasn't me because I'm actually, I'm not well, so, so I've eight. been in bed. So it definitely wasn't me, which I'm really glad about because I hate being blamed for stuff. And when Taj comes out of the bathroom, we'll prosecute him. We'll put him on the chair. <laughs> Who is it, guys? Who was it? Who scratched the window? It'll come out one day. Someone will tell us. What? You know what? Did you scratch the window? I did not. Understand. Come here and look into the camera and tell us. I promise you my life, I was even been near the window today. Alright, who do you think it is guys? This one, this one, or this one? Tell us in the comments down below. I and, think uh, he actually did it and he just <laughs> forgot. There's a lot of blaming and accusing, oh. but... <laughs> doesn't matter, the window's going in, it's not really that big a scratch. Um, you should have seen Dad. You were seeing the video. Right. He was very the look of devastation. <laughs> we used Grey Dow Seal 795, a silicon building sealant, to replace the acrylic in the frames. I can see a scratch, ladies and gentlemen. Did you do it? No, I didn't. A hundred percent. I wouldn't even been in the vicinity of the window. Get <laughs> a little clean finger. Ah, oh, yours the cleanest finger. Okay, move that bell. How about? Oh. Move that up a little bit. A little hack for smoothing out silicon is put some detergent into some water, put your finger in the bubbly water, and then gently smooth out the surface with your wet finger. Right, finish the first uh, one. We got one, don't look too closely. Closely, there's a big scratch down there, but hey, it's an old boat. Oh, take some pride in your way, man. I do. Well, I'm the culprit, don't you worry about that. Alright, he's on number two. Window you know number two. It was full of goo when we pulled them apart. Tars have been flat out for days cleaning these up so we get a nice seal. And after all, all the goo that he's removed, I'm about to put more goo back in there. But. He's left it shiny shiny, so we should get a good stick in there and a good bond. Second window. It's not a window. Do you call it a window? Port. Window. Porthole. It's not a porthole. It opens. Is it still called a porthole if it opens? Port light. Port light. Opening port light. But it's a window. So for dinner tonight, Mum is making salmon pizza. And what do we use for the base? Well, Mum makes this delicious pumpkin base. And so I'm going to cut the pumpkin for her. Using our Comicotto knives. These knives are like the best knives we've ever had in our kitchen. They are Japanese steel. They are so sharp. I've got to be careful not to cut my fingers off. They are individually inspected and have a lifetime guarantee. Lifetime guarantee, people. Anyway, I'm going to get chopping my extra sharp knife. See, this is hard. Pumpkins are hard to cut, but these knives actually make it like... Oh my gosh, if you got this as a present, I would... Like, this is a great present because it comes in its own box. Like, it comes in these awesome wooden boxes. <laughs> And why is this so great for a present for someone? Because who doesn't love knives? And especially sharp, good ones. You can get $50 off by using the discount code KATELPA50. Kamikato is now running a Black Friday sale and the link is on the screen.
and you can get your own set of Kamikado knives. Michelin star chefs use these knives all around the world. I'm just chopping the pumpkin for mum. I've got to be semi quick because dad's going to want to use the stove any second and you'll see why. Put you over to dad now. Mum's going to be making a pizza and dad's going to come in the kitchen. You'll see what he's doing. Over to you dad. Alright guys, not often I get in the kitchen but <laughs> there's a pretty big curve on our windows. I'm using some cast acrylic. I'm just massaging the heat over here. I want enough heat so I can just get a gentle curve because these are just stuck onto the frames. I don't want them to pop off and it's a slow cure so I sort of want to get this roughly fitting so I can actually just fit the window. Okay, so we're getting a bit of heat now. I can feel a little bit of movement in it. Not a lot and I don't want a lot to be honest. I reckon in a second that should start to get a bit soft for me. It's a nice technique though, babe. So here we go, it's slightly bending. Yeah, I can feel it going floppy now. If my memory from school serves me right, it's about <laughs> 130 degrees. I could be completely wrong. It's just something I've got in my head, so I, I don't know. But it's actually, it's probably Nelly got the curve I want just um, without me stretching this. So I've probably got it about 100 mil for all you Americans. What's that, about four inches? off the uh, gas and here we go I can feel it going now it's um it's just hit its sweet spot probably thinking that this is probably just the curve anyway so in about one second the camera person's going to get out of the road so I can run through and put this on my frame ready I'm coming through <laughs> oh, bloody perfect that ends up just a mil but I'll probably oh, before it cools pull that end down a bit Pretty, pretty happy. I probably could have went a little bit more. I'm just, I just haven't done this before, so I didn't really want to. Little massage. Oh. Oh, fun, but oh, I'm a little bit jealous of that window. Pretty good. And just for the final bit, I don't want to, probably wouldn't mind it just like that, but it's probably cooled enough. I've probably only hit its flexible point and then I'll. Oh, we'll see how it goes. I'm... Nah, I'm going to have another go, guys. I'm going to just give it a little bit more heat because I feel like I can feel the heat still in it. The gas is still on, so hurry the gas up. Gas is still on, I just want. Oh, I oh, nearly took the whole lot with me. <laughs> and we are having pizza night tonight, making my uh, favourite, well, it's everybody's favourite, it's pumpkin salmon pizza. It's pretty great. This guy's taking up the kitchen. All right, he's gonna keep doing this. I'll let you know how it goes, hey? I need a little bit more heat. I was a little bit scared of putting too much heat on, but it wasn't wasn't a lot. It, it pretty much just rolled itself out over our curved window. So Look it's, it's about a mil high, which is fine. The silicon's gonna hold that. I was concerned that if I glued it down and the sun gets on it and we're in the tropics somewhere and it goes back to its original form, where this way, it's just about sitting perfect. Put our sealant on there and that should hold it. It's about, about a mil. It's, I think it's just the undulation of the of the actual um, housing anyway. It's pretty bloody good, guys. All right, so this is attempt number what, babe? Look, I got it perfect and I walked away and I took my weights off and I went, whoop. So I just, I don't have any weights. I got two weights here. We'll let that cool down, see if it holds its shape. It sprung up in the middle when I released last time. So... So let's have a closer look, everybody, what's going on here. <laughs> Very creative, honey. It looks like an art piece. Well, we'll see. It's all sitting exactly how I want it. So as long as that cools down properly. Exciting day today, we're going to get some windows in. Finally happy to proceed with this window. It's taking longer than all the others. Very painful, this window. Not completely happy with it, but uh, didn't have enough to cut out another one. But it's going to look better than the one that was the before. This was the before, so can't look worse than that. the first of our windows or the ones in the saloon area going in it's very exciting there's so much more light in here now not you can't tell because the front ones are still covered up but it's 
going to be Sarnon. Second window is going in. It's exciting. Isn't it? Bella. Another day, another job. We're putting in the rest of the windows today. Look at these ones, pretty schnazzy looking, right? Ooh la la. It looks like a pointless job, but it's not. Because yesterday we put the windows together and we didn't do this before and sometimes they screw up and sometimes they don't. And then we realize I can't get this one to show you, but this is what is in the inside. There's like a little tiny ball of silicon that comes out of here. It's really frustrating, but really satisfying when you get it. All right, back at it. We got our final four windows that are coming out in the aft cabin. I think the outside's scratching them out right now. Charges outside grinding as usual. We got one, two, one in the bathroom, three, four, and I just put a scheduled a live video for tomorrow. <laughs> this is out on the window. Might be able to see times out there. Oh, see his little head. There he is. windows we got all but two in today or oh, there's three missing because they're getting welded together but oh, better take the backing off first, <laughs> right? <It helps. laughs> the ones that we have here we got all but two in so we had a pretty big day of windows hey babe mm -hmm. look at that look at Custom that drawing. a little bit of super glue that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. We'll get our window on and... Uh, Which one is it? Do you reckon it's the first one I grab? Mm, nope. There it is, just for you. Terry. Saving those ones here for later. Oh, really don't... careful working in here. Yeah, that block that sink. I had it blocked earlier. Put something over that. Good so idea. One little pin going down it's there. Good use for some mud. All right, I'll leave you to it. I'm just about finished dinner. I want to show you something, guys. This amazing. Look at this squash. This is called a spaghetti squash. I have never, my entire life being on this planet, ever seen it. Ever. It tastes like noodles. Use it instead of pasta or noodles. It's amazing. Anyway, we love them and we've been eating a fair bit of it lately. But tonight I made like a bolognese, non tomato bolognese sauce. And I'm just going to mix these through it. Put some cheese on top. There's dinner. But 
If you haven't tried a spaghetti squash, they are epic. It's literally, look at it, it's just noodles. So I just make them in the oven. Grab a fork. What you can do, what we did last time, was you put your stuff in there and you put it on top and then put cheese on top and you got your own little bowl. But it was quite a lot. So I'll probably just mix it through tonight. Anyway, that's what we're having for dinner. If you've never tried a spaghetti squash, I suggest you do so. I don't know if this is, I mean, is this an Australian thing? I've never seen one before. And I know it's like pumpkin season over here, but God, this is, this is incredible. So this morning we're putting our last window in, our last porthole in our bedroom. We got all the other ones in yesterday. And this is the last one. Hi. Cup my tea. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. The glass has been replaced. They're all clean. And don't you love the covers? These were already on the boat, but I love them. And that's the colour I want to eventually change everything to. And this umbrella outside. But eventually. Anyway, in here looks nice. They've all been replaced. So here we have it. This is our windows before and this is them after. Spectacular, I reckon. Great work, team. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. I'll tell you, it comes in a bloody Ashton Kutcher watch. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>